gameplay. It's kind of like you're playing uh, the old Dungeon Keeper game underground. You're building a literal dungeon and enemies come in and are trying, to, yeah, heroes are coming in trying to destroy it. The and Halitosis prone evil returns. Halitosis prone. Uh, you build up a dungeon and once you get strong enough, you go out to the above world and when you're in the above world, it's like an RTS, like the war the old Warcraft games. So hang on just a second here. And there we go. All right. So, campaign, main campaign. And we the finish Shadow of Absolute Evil. The Shadow of Absolute Evil had crossed the sea and now sought the chosen target, a dark elf named Talia. Okay. A long, long time ago. So that was us from Dungeons 2. The two. absolute evil had, in the famous predecessor to this game, subjugated the known world and defeated good. Now, in a world full of blackness and despair, it spent its days sipping cocktails from the skulls of its enemies and forging new a unicorn? over a grilled unicorn kebab. Unfortunately, <laughs> there wasn't much left to forge. A few orc wedges, the occasional trick played on the little snots. There just wasn't anything left to conquer. As the weeks and months passed, the absolute oh, I just evil grew stepping ever on ahead. more reticent and seclusive. From time to time, one could hear a sound <laughs> from the depressed evil super secret secret laboratory in the depths of the dungeon. Torn instead of corn. Its creatures grew more worried with each passing day, and even started to miss its ingenious evil tricks. It was a somewhat confusing time for them. No beatings, no torture, and no being sent to a senseless death. On the other hand, it was a rather nice change. Eons passed, and the unicorn supply dwindled until suddenly, one wonderful day, the evil genius evil joyfully burst from its super secret secret laboratory. It finally had a new goal. An unknown continent, as often found in sequels. <laughs> it's making fun of so many games. From the wicked evil by naught but a puny little ocean. See that map? Skull Island, Donkey Island. It immediately had a fleet built. This was so powerful that it covered the horizon from north to south and was manned by the best and most powerful creatures at the devious evil's command. The fleet set sail for the crossing to this new continent, left the harbor, and sank. What? Yet that mattered naught to the <laughs> couldn't give a hoot about its minions' evil. It instructed no explanations and little snots to design an even more powerful fleet. These new ships were gigantic. Loaded with Devious Evil's second best creatures, the fleet set out. And that sank as well. Are they just bad drivers? Why are they all the sinking? The annoyed evil saved his relentless anger towards the shipbuilders for later. Oh, the shipbuilders. Obviously, it would have to take care of the matter itself. With a sigh, it cast a spell and created a shadow of itself. A creature of absolute darkness and evilness. This shadow flew across the water towards the east. Ooh. There, it would find a vessel, a corruptible being that would subjugate this land in the name of evil. And the shadow had the perfect target in mind. The dark elf named Talia, I'm guessing, from the mission description. Probably her on the loading screen. The great paladin Thanos, hero of the totally eastern kingdoms and a repugnantly Thanos. good fellow. He was visiting the fatiguing library in Twistrum with his Twistrum. <laughs> to see his foster daughter, Talia. Dude, it's making fun well, of so now, many games. Talia, tell me about your studies. Are you making progress with the writings of the ancient sages? Twistrum. Yes, dear father. I have thoroughly digested it and have come a step closer to the good. The desire within me to do evil is defeated. Really? <laughs> Excellent. I am proud of you, my child. Continue to concentrate on your studies. 
I must go to Stormbreeze to clear up. Stormbreeze instead of Stormwind. In the meantime, my loyal friend Grimly will protect the country. Grimly. Should anything trouble you, you can turn to him. <laughs> Isn't that right, Grimly? I, of course, Janos. I'll keep an eye on the damned elf. You, I mean, your daughter. You can count on me. <laughs> then I'll see you soon, my friends. May the goddess watch over you, and the light burn eternally. Bon voyage, dear father. I'll make you so proud of me. Who does good, is good. Yuck. Disgusting phrases like that always leave such a nasty taste in my mouth. These abnormally good heroes, on the other hand, had no inkling of the malignity gathered to the south. Was there One moment a herd of sheep was peacefully grazing, and the next moment, whomph! With a fulminant explosive effect that ate up half our special effects budget, <laughs> the shadow entered the world. His target, a dark elf caught between good and evil, was very close. As the shadow of... Hang on just a second here. Uh, did that, did that. And I'll refund those, and I'm doing that one now. Okay. The unspeakably evil evil moved through the world. All around it died. Plants withered. Animals perished. Sort of like a picnic with my family. <laughs> the shadow of the far-off evil found itself very, very close to Twistrum. It could practically feel its target's presence. Take these lanterns, men, and let the light of the goddess shine. For the night is dark and full of terrors. Oh. And there's a pile of horse poo around here somewhere. I trod in it earlier. For the darkness! Uh, 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 I mean, for the, for the light! Sorry. <laughs> I'm still in training. <laughs> uh, yes, well, that is somewhat suboptimal. Uh, Bird Tree Tristram was the uh, city uh, in Diablo, the whole Diablo series, the entire the Di Di Diablo the series. Evil was an incredibly powerful creature, but, well, light was a bit of an issue. It would certainly be wise to stay out of the lantern light. Now, the I'm guessing, you know, after this mission will the be like a building mission. The entrance to Twistrum. Fortunately, this one was not closed, but it was brightly lit. Luckily, there was an unfortunate guard on patrol that the shadow was able to possess, thanks to its incredible powers. As long as it wasn't in the light, the shadow of absolute evil melded with the guard and took control of his body. Thus, it was able to pass through the gate with ease. Uh, what was that? I think there was something wrong with that last beer. Unfortunately, the Shadow's possession only lasted a short while before the guard was able to free himself. Still, it was long enough to get past the gate. The Shadow's target was close. So close. Talia. The Dark Elf. Soon she would fight on the side of evil. <laughs> what happens if you touch the light? I assume May the massive damage or something. Be with you, my friends. It will soon be time to open the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Come to the big square and join in the festivities. Well, I don't know. I had actually kind of planned to spend the evening in the bathhouse. <laughs> Friends, this orphanage is very important to my father. Thanos, you know, the mighty paladin, the one you really don't oh, want no, to Oh no, she's a Karen. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, we'd love to come. Excellent. May the light of the goddess shine upon you and let us experience this exhilarating spectacle in the big square together. Follow me, my friends, for evil at uh, the, 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 the light, I mean. <laughs> Keep the light burning bright, for the night is dark and full of terriers or uh, errors. Oh or my god. Something like that. So bad. It's getting so bad. 
Can I do shift command? Oh, you can do shift commands. Oh, hello. <laughs> the night is full of terriers. There's dogs everywhere. That's what happens. Increasing damage and a big slow. Stop holding the lantern in my face like that, boy. I am grim. If I go left or no, I guess just that's it. Do I have a oh, maps in the bottom left? Okay. In the distance, one could hear the unbearably good bells of a church. They must be marking the opening of the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Heroes! With lanterns began to stream in that direction. The crossing on a red signal evil shadow swore, or would have if it had a mouth, and tried to avoid the lanterns as much as possible. Oh, are we gonna like possess her in the middle of the event? See you here of your own free will. Finally, finally, the time had come, and the shadow of the passes in the slow lane evil was within range of <laughs> passes Tally in the, the slow dark lane. Elf. The time had come for it to use its incredible powers to possess her for a short time. We're just gonna like. My dear father would be very proud were he with us today. He would be overjoyed to see us give the young and the needy a place to live and thrive. That's why I'm happy to take this orphanage. She's gonna burn it down. This orphanage and destroy it utterly and all of you with it <laughs> what did she say die what did she say <laughs> she hits for 1337 and over 9000 the power within me oh, is it it's over 9000 unimagined powers surface oh, that the black magic of the dark elves. She immediately began to unleash these powers of chaos upon the world. So do I just go kill everything? I'll tear you to pieces. I guess so. The Dark Elf raged through Twistrum's inexperienced guards. She thereby built up a tremendous inner energy, which she released into the world as a focus beam, while screaming, Kamehameha! Meanwhile, in the fatiguing library... This is a bit on the nose. ...eagerly with coffee and cake for Talia to show up and open the new orphanage. The energy beam hit the cake with a resounding zap and reduced it to ashes. Oh, yes, and the rest of the building and everyone inside it as well. The narcissistic evil patted itself on the shoulder for this. Or it would have, but the metal armor always made such a terrible clonking noise when it tried. But then again, that's what little snots are for. <laughs> he, like, orders Obviously, the snots. You, pat my shoulder. Shadow had found a perfect vessel in the Dark Elf. Talia had already earned the title of Employee of the Month with the utter destruction of the fatiguing library as well as half of Twistrum. Twistrum. The destruction of an orphanage and the bombardment of innocent citizens with magic missiles immediately made her <laughs> the meme wasting evil's new favorite hench person. <laughs> her evil deeds complete, Talia withdrew into the vaults beneath the ruins of the fatiguing library. There, between the slaughterhouse and mad Archbishop Lazarus's apartment, Archbishop she Lazarus is from Diablo something One. Powerful in the name of the absolutely, ultimately evil, evil. A dungeon heart, the cornerstone of any dungeon's power. 
Far away, Paladin of Light and Talia's former mentor, Thanos, was on his way to the Empire's capital of Stormbreeze. Naive and trusting Welcome to as he fabulous was, generic he was fantasy city. Cheerfully to himself, with no inkling of his Is that Puff the Magic Dragon in the background? Deeds. Though he was aware that as a dark elf, she always had a core of evil in her. He had hoped to defeat it through religious indoctrination with ancient mad writings. Well, old Bean, you thought wrong. <laughs> Twistwam in ruins. In ruins. Talia, the dark elf, had turned to evil and laid the fatiguing library in ruins. Now she began to build a small power base in its vaults. Her first dungeon. All right. Oh, now we know these characters on the loading screen. That's Talia and her dad. Twistrum looked like the leftovers from a heavy metal concert. What? What have I done? Oh no! I've fallen to evil again! Father will be beside himself! He was right when he said, You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain! Although, in a way, it was fun to be evil. Burning. Things, pillaging and showing those nasty goody two shoes where the hammer hangs. <laughs> they just look down at me anyway. My revenge will be terrible. Is it even revenge when they were nice to you? <laughs> they were legit While nice to her. She's was like revenge. A typical villainous monologue. Something happened around her. From the depths arose a pulsating crystal filled with the magic savvy evil's power. A dungeon heart. Not to be confused with those dungeon hearts from other games. We don't want to be sued again. Hello, <laughs> greetings. <laughs> what seems to be your boggle? Secret mental messages were exchanged between Talia and the mentally savvy evil's crystal. We could explain this in detail at this point, but that would require a three-hour monologue on my part, and I am definitely not being paid enough. The goblins that. are sweeping. Oh, right then. I will make these people suffer for mocking me. Father's henchmen never liked me anyway, and always insulted me, calling me pointy-eared. It's time for my well-deserved revenge! She's gonna run out and call him round ear. The game logic internalizing evil had given Talia an assignment. Out there on the surface were shamelessly good places in urgent need of destruction. Nah, no problem. I'll take care of it. I am an evil army. Naturally, the strategically well-versed evil did not send its new general into battle alone. A dungeon had to be built, and creatures hired to provide her with a powerful army. Of course, the sophisticatedly thinking evil already knew which way the wind blew in a dungeon. However, should it be hit by short-term memory loss, it could effortlessly look up things in the fabulous almanac. I do know how to play, but I'm having to find the stuff. Army. How do I make more troops? I guess I can't right now. Increases a creature's armor level a little. It's weird to me that the giant the hand doesn't keep up with my mouse cursor. Not been idle. Well, they hadn't exhausted themselves either, but anyway, there were now some research projects the researching evil could pursue. The new improved research menu, TM, was now available. Um, research menu TM. A new area discovered. Oh, okay. The new improved oh. research menu TM opened and gave an overview of currently available technologies. At the moment, the selection was still limited, but that would change. After all, this evil crusade had only just begun. 
Uh, let's start more little snots. And let's see, Gobbler Farm. This wasn't in D2. Gobblers are created on the Gobbler Farm. Delicious, gobbling little creatures perfectly suited to satisfy the hunger of horde creatures and demons alike. Oh, is research instantly? Wait, does it just give you another snot every time you research that? Hold on, six out of six. It does. Interesting. So... How do I get other troops? Maybe I need to make the gobbler farm. Um... <laughs> Let's open this up. We'll make it there. Their names. Snod, Snuff, Sniffle, Snopsy, Sniffel, and Snorer. <laughs> oh, when you tell it to build a room, it's not instant now. They have to actually run around and do stuff. They get little yellow hard hats, too. Um, gobblers are created on the gobbler farm. Delicious gobbler little creatures, perfectly suited to satisfy the hunger of the horde of the light. So now that we've got the gobbler farm, can I make troops now? No. no I can't. Um. I'm unclear as to how to get troops. Payday. Destroy the good. Oops, I picked up Talia. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Do I have to research the hideout? Uh, let's find out. The hideout is the horde's bedroom. That's where they set up camp in the hideout to satisfy their need to sleep. At the same time, they can heal from damage suffered. Improved horde, that requires evil, that requires evil, I don't have. All right, um. We'll build it here. Oh wait, now, now there's creatures here. Alright, well, let's go ahead and build this, because we started on it. Okay, and then creatures... Go, got some orcs, got some goblins. The snots are making beds. Okay. Uh, let's see. So most, we've researched everything other than more snots that uh, does not require more evil. Hey, how's everyone doing? What's up, Otter? How you doing? Where's the button to, like, do a cave-in? If I wanted to make that rock again, how do I do that?
In the previous game, you could hit Z and then, like, make rock fall back onto a square to fill that in. Fill empty tile. There we go. Sweet. Okay. All right. So we've got what troops we can have. So I noticed a button a second ago. Where is it? Army. And... Oh, F2. Oh, look at that interface. That's pretty good. <laughs> and you can throw them all at once now. Conquer the good locations. Now, I want to make sure... Let's see, the I goblins are not the Blinding first ones to the fight. beams of light met the dauntless evil's creatures. They briefly squinted at the disgusting brightness. Finally, they grinned, satisfied. At last, they were able to carry the battle to the good people and were not limited to protecting themselves in a dungeon, as is the case with other representatives of the genre. <laughs> the armies of evil reached one of those disgustingly good places that had survived the destruction of Twistrum. The ice-cold hand, I mean evil, would deal with it immediately. Okay, so she's using Firebomb automatically. The orcs have blind... Okay, back Take that guy that. up. Do you want that? I think it's a bit loud. Hang on just a second. Little town of good was destroyed. Oh, and that's into new. A bed of evilness. Look at that. On the Evil's just like something spawning. Yes, evil rose from the dead. This okay. in a practical spherical form was the sweet lifeblood which flowed through the personified evil's veins. It stimulated the armies of evil Lecture and hall. their power. All this lofty blah blah without any impact on the game aside, it was another resource primarily or exclusively used for more powerful research. Delicious evilness flowed into the dungeon heart and filled it with power. New research was thus made available, which would help the dungeon to even greater power. Uh oh. The impatient evil immediately began to research something. Yeah, what is going on here? I feel a disturbance in the force. <laughs> the deeds of the conspicuous evil and its henchmen had not gone unnoticed. Uh. As a matter of fact, even a blind man could see the destruction they left behind them. As idiotic heroes do, they sent out a small patrol to scout the area. How Move do up, I... Men. Have a look around and report back to me. Well, oh, wait, is that I not a new room? I accompany you myself. I'm currently um, teaching myself to play the ukulele. Wait, for the horde wag. That's literally copywriting two different games. I'm trying out some care, uh, key bindings here. Pal Rasha and Naga Minaj. <laughs> Time to take out the trash. Destroy. Hold on. What are their names? What are their names? Gotshak, Orgrush, Holkirk, Zorguk, Nagish. And the goblins are Gazizel. I will destroy and this free. land. Command me. Man, we're getting we get healers so early. That's great. All right, let's go back down here. Um. 